Okay. Today we're going to talk about measuring and constructing segments. We talked about segments yesterday. It's pretty much just a line with ends. Okay. The metaphor we used was stick, if metaphor is the correct word to use in that situation. Okay. Good deal. First thing we want to talk about is a coordinate. Okay. Yesterday we talked about points. A coordinate is just a point on a graph. Usually your graphs look like this. A coordinate is just a point somewhere on there. Okay. Coordinates have an X and a Y. X tells us how far we go over to the right or left. Y tells us how far we go up or down. Okay? Now, doesn't always have to be on this. You can have a coordinate on a line as well. Like that's A and that's B. Those are both coordinates. It's pretty much a point that is labeled. Okay? Good again on drops. Now, distance. Most of y'all have heard the word distance before. It's just the length from somewhere to somewhere else. Okay, it's like a segment. All right, but not always just drawn in a line. Fair enough. So distance. We would find how far it is from A to B. Let's say A is located at two and B is at eight. Okay. We would pretty much just find how far it is from there to there. All right. Now, what we do is it's called absolute value. That means that all that means is when you get done. If there's a negative, take it off there. That's what absolute value means. Just get rid of the negative. Okay? So, absolute value of 2 minus 8. What would 2 minus 8 be? Be negative 6. Now, those little lines, that means hasta la vista negative sign. Okay? So, the answer is 6. That is our distance. You'll never have a negative distance. Okay? And all distance is telling you how far it is from somewhere to somewhere else. Okay? Good deal. Now, next thing we're talking about, a word some of y'all might have not have heard of before. It's called congruent. Okay? Congruent is the, is the math fancy word for equal. Okay? If two lines are congruent, that means they're equal. They're the exact same length. If two angles are congruent, they are equal. They're the exact same measure. All congruent is, is a fancy way of saying equal. Goody gumdrops. So if we say that 2x <laughs> is congruent to 8, if we wanted to find x, all we have to do is put an equal sign in there. And then we'd solve it. That's it. So if they say two things are congruent, you can just set them equal to each other. All right. Good deal. Next is midpoint. All right? Midpoint is exactly what it sounds like. First part sounds like mid, which is middle. Second one is point. Mid point. It's the middle point on a line. All right? So if I wanted to find the midpoint of A and B, let's say A is at negative 3. B is at 12. Okay? We're on a line. We want to find the midpoint of A and B. All I got to do is find the length of AB. So we do negative 3 minus 12. That would be negative. I'm sorry, I put a That would equal negative 15. And the absolute value of things means that we drop the negative. So the answer is 15. Now, that's the whole length. We found the distance, okay? Now, we want to find the middle point there. We want to find with the exact middle. So, how do I find the middle of 15? I just cut it in half. So I divide it by 2. It equals 7.5. So I know that our point is going to be 7.5, whatever's these are, between these two, okay? So I could just go from this way or this way. I could either add 7.5 to negative 3 or subtract from 12. Either way, I'm going to get the same answer, okay? It's going to be at 4.5, okay? That's it. That would be your answer. That's your midpoint. We usually name them M for midpoint, okay? Like I said before, math people weren't very creative, okay? If it looked to me, I would have named it like the destructor point because it sounds cooler, but I didn't. Okie okay, dokie. Now, next word you need to know called bisects. 
Alright? If something bisects something, that means it cuts it in half. Okay? It cuts it in the middle. If that's the midpoint, it bisects line AB. M bisects that line because it cuts it in half. That's all bisects means is that it cuts it in half. The end. I really don't know what else to say about it. Okay, let's do an example of bisect. Might help you fulfill all your hopes and dreams. Alright. Alright, let's say we got a line here. Now let's just make up, go crazy, use A, B, and C. Alright, let's say AB is 5X and BC is 3X plus 4. So, we know the length of this and this. Let's say we also know that B bisects it. What does that make B? on line AC. It makes it the midpoint. Okay, so it makes B the midpoint. Because it bisects it, so it cuts it in half. Now, if that's in the exact middle, that tells us something about this line and this line. If that's in the exact middle, that means that this line is the exact same as this line, which means they are congruent. So therefore, you can just write out the problem, 5x equals 3x plus 4. All right, and that's our problem. And now we solve it using algebra. All right, first step, we got to get rid of the 4. I apologize, that's not the first step. First step, we got to get the x's together, so we subtract 3x. This cancels out. 5x minus 3x equals 2x. And then bring this down, that's 4. And to get rid of that 2, we divide by 2. So x equals 2. We found our x. Now, if they were asking for the length of, let's say they were asking for the length of AC. That's what they wanted to know. We're not done yet, okay? We gotta plug that in. We plug in x there. The length of AB is now 10, because yeah. five times two is 10. Now, do the same thing for over here. Do I even have to work this side? If I trust my work here, I know that's the exact same, because that's the midpoint. But just for checking's sake, we plug it in. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. What's the length of AC? All together now? 20. AC, the whole thing. So we put it all together, it'd be 20. A lot of work for just one problem. All right, here's a little example problem, okay? We didn't talk about this, but it's also just something you need to know, okay? They gave us the length of KM, which is the whole thing, right? And then they gave us the length of KL and LM, which whenever we put these two together, what do we get? The whole thing, right? Whenever we put this length with this length, we get the whole length. So, what does that mean about if we put these two together? They are equal to that other one. So we'll put that on one side, and then... If we put these two together, are we adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Yeah. Uh, we're adding. I mean, if we're putting things together, we're adding. So all we do is we take this. All we bring to the table is a plus sign. And then 3x minus 2. And now we just solve for x. And you're thinking, that looks like a long, not fun problem. But it's not that bad. You put the one x combines with Sorry. 3x, so it would be 4x. 0.5 minus, we already got rid of that and that. 0.5 minus 2 is negative 1.5. Then we bring all this down. And we'll get the x's over here, so we'll subtract 3x from both sides. That cancels out. It'll be 1x, which you can just drop the 1. And then we add 1.5 on both sides. So it's 3. So it is 3. Now, that might not be what they're asking for. All you did was find x. If you need to find the length of one of those, you got to plug it in. Okay. You just throw that? No. If, jump. 